Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is The Gaming Guy and today I am bringing you to the full drop list for this week which is week 12 of the full winter season. Now for this drop list, obviously the most expensive items are going to be the Ramoa pieces that are releasing or the Ramoa collaboration. However, we also have another collaboration this week which is going to be the Martin Wong collaboration. If I'm saying that wrong, just tell me in the comments, or if how I pronounce things are different to how you pronounce them. But anyway, there are quite a couple of items dropping this week which are decent. There are a couple that aren't so decent, and there are some that are just thrown in. However, personally for me, I might just be leaving this week alone, purely because of the fact that Palace are releasing something this week that I really want, I'm really after, and... There are pieces that Supreme are releasing, like they're releasing another beanie, which I know how tempting that is for me to go for another beanie. However, I might just sleep on this week unless someone asks me to go for something for them. But anyway, let's get straight into this drop list. Also, my week 11 item is here, which arrived. But I won't be unboxing that for a little bit of time just because there are some items that I'm waiting on like to arrive in general. So... The drop list. Now they have put that the full drop list is not out yet and this is because we're waiting on the official images for some of the other pieces that are releasing. As always if you'd like to see anything that I go on to it'll be linked in my pinned comment. But yeah, Jay put out obviously the standard tweet of everything and then put that the official images for the tees and decks and all of the retails for everything will be coming soon. So with that in mind, prior to that we are just going to look at what the Martin Wong collaboration will feature, which as you can see it will feature a tee, another tee, a long sleeve tee, a heat skateboard and I'm just going to say Pentecostal skateboard instead of the first one. Is that a glacier? I'll go with the glacier. Uh, skateboard. So yeah, when I went through the lookbook at the beginning of the season, a lot of the Martin Wong pieces were pieces that I was a big fan of and that I liked. However, since they weren't released right at the beginning of the sort of full season, I would say that some of them are a bit of a mismatch for sort of the time frame that they're being released, like the Rayan shirt. A Rayan shirt being released in winter is not too helpful. I think if it was released in fall, it might have had a bit more appeal. Maybe if they released it the same week as when they released the hoodie, because the hoodie seems to be doing quite well. But anyway, let's just get into this drop list. So obviously we're going to kick off with the Ramoa cabin plus the smaller suitcase and then we have the check-in suitcase i've seen a lot of people have a bit of a different opinion in comparison to last time last time a lot of people said that they were a fan of the check-in suitcase over the cabin plus or the cabin suitcase and this was just because of the fact that it was larger they could take more however people have said that they prefer the cabin one over it because they can have it with them they know where it's stored and it's all safe whereas the other one they don't really know what's going to happen to it now on the side of retail prices i believe people put that they were like uh, $1,890 and $1,990 somehow a $100 difference whereas last time it was a £200 difference but we're just going to have to see if that actually stays true to itself i guess you could say on the side of resale people have been saying that there's like two to five hundred pounds available on the day personally i really don't know how these are going to do because last time people said they'd brick as well and then by this point in time as I showed you yesterday they're going for a large amount so really overall it's difficult to gauge so the next item on the list is obviously going to be the Martin Wong Rayan shirt or the short sleeve shirt like I said I really like this piece I'm a massive fan of this piece but I just think releasing it this like I guess early into winter or mid winter or start of winter time uh, is just a bit late for it to be released but overall it's still a really nice piece it's really clean I'm sure by next summer if people pick this up, it should pop off in price. We then have a mountain crew neck that is releasing. When I looked at the lookbook as well, the previews uh, for this, this was another piece that I was quite a big fan of uh, because this is like a complete embroidered graphic. All the text, all of the little logos and everything, it's all embroidered. I think that's great. It's a nice, clean little crew neck. I think any of the colorways is just nice to pick it up in. But definitely the heather grey looking colour and this violet or purple colour, it pops off in the most. We then have a Pledge Allegiance pin. I actually have a piece from, I believe it was 2017, I think is when it was released. Uh, which is the I Pledge Allegiance uh, hoodie slash jacket that they released at that point in time. So I hope this is the exact same thing to follow up. But I think I've got a couple of pins anyway, so... It can match them, I suppose. We then have a leather collar puffy jacket that is releasing. So plain and simple, it's a puffy jacket with a leather collar. Bit of a different choice or peculiar choice. The colorways aren't 
amazing for me personally and I sometimes feel like with leather pieces they can sometimes rub on your neck but maybe this is different it will just feel comfortable not the greatest like to dislike ratio uh, but for me personally I just think that the standard yellow or just the black colorway stands out the most with it and just looks the best with it personally I don't see them massively selling out because they've released like puffy jackets or jackets for like the last three weeks so maybe people are getting tired of them at this point in time Personally, I am obviously like a puffy jacket or jacket getting released every week. That's the same sort of thing. But anyway, that is still an item that is coming out. So then we have the long sleeve pocket tee that is going to be released. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of it. The only thing that I am a fan of are the two colorways, which are their tribal colorways, which are at the back. Because they're going to be releasing them in balaclavas at some point this season. I think they look really cool in the balaclavas. They stand out like really well and they just look really nice. For me personally, I've never been a pocket tee person as sometimes they add like a 10 or 12 pound price on just for adding a pocket there. I don't think that's like a justified amount just to slap a pocket onto it. But anyway, they're going to be released. I'd probably expect the back two colorways to possibly sell out or a couple of the sizes to go in quite a couple of them because if people can't go for the Ramoas, they usually end up going for a lot of the other pieces that are released and a ton of pieces just end up selling in general. We then have a rhinestone script hooded sweatshirt being released, obviously with applique logo that goes all the way across. I remember not being a massive fan of this piece just purely because of the fact that it goes all the way around the back and up your arms into your shoulders and things sort of space and because of that the amount of like stretching and flexing and things that people are going to be doing I feel that that could possibly make them fall off at some point because that just happens with pieces in general so for this I am not a massive fan of it and I can see a lot of people aren't either so yeah <laughs> we then have the Martin Wong 8 ball beanie usually on the flip side of these beanies It usually just has supreme embroidered into it. So I hope this is the same I think that this looks embroidered as like a patch on it But I don't know I'll probably just check on supreme themselves just to see if it does up close But overall it isn't a bad thing I know that people are probably getting fed up of seeing so many beanies every week being released But personally for me, I'm happy about it in general I think that the Martin Wong collaboration is really cool and really refreshing and yeah, the pieces at some point in time I'm sure will go up in value. We then have a top logo denim camp cap. Denim isn't really my favourite thing in the world, uh, but for this I'd just say that the standard like, denim colour that people know, which is just like this dark blue, blue colour, uh, is looks okay in this and the black also looks nice as well. It looks like it's a bit of that like washed look that they try and go for across pieces, but maybe that's just because of the material. We then have another Martin Wong piece, which is going to be the Secret World uh, Rain Shirt. I thought this was really cool that it's like inside a brick wall, there's just like this room hidden away. Uh, but obviously a lot of people don't share the same opinion, which that's what opinions are for. But yeah, for me, again, I think that the timing of releasing this is a bit of the wrong time. Uh, if it was summertime or early fall, it might have been received a lot better. But a rain shirt at this time of year, it's just the bad timing. We then have a camo leather hooded jacket releasing. This is just going to have a stupid high retail. Uh, I mean, the design is cool and all. They're going for that sort of cow camo look that some of the box logos and pieces have had over the years. Uh, but in general, for me, it's just not great. I think that the cow camo or snow camo, whatever camo colorway it is, I'm sure this front one's meant to be like the cow camo look and then the back one's like the snow camo look. For me, though, they don't really do a lot. Uh, on the back, it says there's an embroidered logo, which I'm guessing is this here, but it doesn't stand out. Uh, too well across either of them. So yeah, it's, it's a bit of a yikes from me personally. We then have another Martin Wong piece. It's just going to be the Ridge Street top. Uh, short sleeve tops so retail of like 58 to 78 pounds or so. I thought this graphic was really cool as well, but I just wish that it was on a top uh, or a tee instead of one of these more expensive premium pieces. I think the people would have liked it a lot more that way. We then have a basic beanie that has been released, which they have done before. Because I have one of the basic uh, beanies here, as you can see, um, which I think, I don't know if the tags actually say what date they're from. No, they don't at all. Uh, but this was from 2012, I believe it was. And yeah, you can tell how well uh, the beanies did or these beanies did specifically because this cost me 12 pounds. And that was that. That shows how much people appreciate these. Uh, so yeah, I don't see these ones doing as well or doing well in general because I mean, if they've released before and they've already gone to that price, these probably won't do the greatest. And because I've already got one of them, 
I don't need to pick another one up. We then have a camo leather five pocket pant to match the jacket. Not a fan of it in any way, so I'm going to move ahead. The last piece is going to be the washed velvet bell hat. This is what I meant by that washed look. Uh, on the piece, the colors will be a bit different. Because it's meant to have this like washed look to it, uh, the colors will be a bit different from side to side or from place to place on it. Not a piece that I'm a massive fan of though. Now, it would probably be best to wait to see the Martin Wong pieces or see all of the pieces in general. But personally for me, I think that if people aren't massively feeling some of the pieces from his collab, they're not gonna feel some of the others. I know. For the skateboard deck that it's a full-on graphic uh, from their work when you google martin uh, wong iglesia pentecostal this is what you get coming up it'll probably be a bit of a different graphic to this or something different to this but it could be this on the skateboard this is the big heat piece by martin wong so this is what we're probably going to see on the other skateboard or on the t as well and this is the attorney street uh, which is probably going to be on the other t so or something around the lines of that might be a bit different with Supreme's collab to it but these are the like original pieces from the person themselves. So that is going to cover the drop list. Now like I said I could wait to see the pieces tomorrow when they're probably announced uh, but to be honest they'll probably be along the same lines as the images that we've seen and I don't know how people are going to feel or react to them. Personally for me I'm all for them they look really cool and I like the rustic sort of look to them but yeah, I know that people nowadays are caring a bit more about resale than they are about keeping some items for the personal. Which I get, because I've completely got the same mindset when it comes to some pieces for some weeks. But yeah, that is going to cover this video. If you enjoyed, a like would be much appreciated. As per norm, comment down below what you think of this week, what you're going for, what you'll be leaving, whether you'll be sleeping on this week. Personally, for me, I might be sleeping on this week because I do want a palace piece that's dropping this week. And for me in general, there's nothing that I see that I would go for that I would want to wear myself. I know the skateboard decks can sometimes be quite cool but the retails can be 68 to 78 pounds which I'd prefer to go for something that I will keep and wear instead of just keep and store away than yeah than that pretty much anyway that's going to cover this video thank you for watching and I will see you all next time I think we're like 600 subs off of 10k which is insane so yeah thank you for that and I'll see you all next time peace